Hey, what's up guys? This is Oswaldo from Rock Entry. Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, welcome. Today, we're gonna go over this pink problem. Now, it's a V6. It starts off with a big left throw to a crimp. And it's a, it's a fun problem. I liked it. I liked it a lot, actually. Now, I'm gonna share with you guys my failures and some of the mistakes I've made to send this project here. Now, once again, I'm gonna give you guys some awesome tips to help you guys become a better climber. All right, guys, let's do this. So pretty much, like I said, big throw, a lot of falls right here. And yeah, it's a pretty awful cramp right here. But what I was doing wrong at first, one of the first mistakes I did when doing that throw, I was trying to use my toe on this hold here, like so. But right away, I started noticing that I don't have enough power with my toe and I ended up switching it to a heel hook. With the heel hook, as we know, you can pull more, you're a lot stronger with the heel, and you can get more control out of it as well. Right there, it was a really good attempt, but I was missing another key. And the key is, don't only depend on the heel, but I have to, I have to like pull in with my hands too. So when I throw, I make sure I pull in, you see that, I catch it, so I'm locked off with my right hand. All right, now let's look at these two. Now I'm using heel hooks, but I wanna share with you guys what I'm doing wrong on the left side and how I correct it on the right side. So let's look at the left side of the screen. Now notice, I got the heel hook in and I'm actually engaging the heel hook. But what I'm doing wrong here is I'm not locking off my right hand. And also, when I land my left crimp, my left hand crimp, when I throw, I don't pull in. So I'm just trying to catch it. And that's what makes me fall. What I want to do, which is on the right side, is not only engage my right heel hook, but when I throw for that left crimp, I want to lock off my right hand. I want to pull my body into the wall and as soon as I land my left crimp, I want to pull in as well. Now, it doesn't seem like I am here at this point, but I am. Trust me, I am. And that's the goal. You want to pull in as much as you can and keep that core tight. Core is so important at this point. If my core wasn't good, I could easily drop from here. All right, now moving on to this point. Now, one of the things I noticed, and it's not efficient at all, 
and I'm matching a lot my feet my footwork is pretty awful here now notice here I'm matching here with my feet and once again here and for a third time here so it's too much I'm just spending too much time on the wall and you know switching feet is a lot of work so and we know that especially on little foot chips like so one of the things I start doing is just start thinking what other options I have so I'm just at this point looking at the wall I don't even start climbing it from the beginning just thinking like what to do what should I do how can I avoid that and that's pretty much what I'm doing here so I'm just testing it out and at this point I have an idea I think I got an idea at this point so then I try it So there, instead of matching on the first foot chip here, which I did previously, like so. So to avoid that, let's go back to this screen right here. I actually cross, so I'm crossing my leg, my right leg over to the next foothold. Alright, now let's talk about the last fall I had, and that's from the top, and that's from the mantle. Now, this is what happened. Notice, when I'm pulling in, I max out here. There's no more pulling. Like, I can't pull anymore, and I'm not even up there. And that's what makes me fall. So, what I end up doing is, as soon as I max out my pull, notice my left hand, I switch it into a mantle. And when I switch it into a mantle, I just press down, start pressing down my left hand and my left foot, and then notice my right hand here, I mantle as well. And that's what makes it work. I'm gonna share with you guys my final climb. Here we go. If you find this useful or helpful in any way, please do hit that like button. It lets me know you like this video or you find it helpful. Also hit that subscribe button if you haven't and that bell notification so you can get notified as soon as my video is out because you want to get these videos, I hope so. <laughs> and thank you guys so much for the birthday wishes, love you a lot and I'll see you guys next time.